Hey, fellow modelers, Frank and Dave back here on YouTube. Today on YouTube, we got part number two a little Jimmy Piriashakis group build, 19th, 20th century, German aces of, of the 20th century. Okay, folks, uh, back at the bench again. So, uh, for Dave's update, it'll be a, a time sequence of frames of assembly towards this update. Started with the fuselage. I went ahead and gave a good, a good wash of black and gray, a, gra a grayish black uh, solution of wash. Instead of applying it with a paintbrush like I normally do, I just went ahead and went with the airbrush. It'd be a lot quicker. And uh, the results are very great. Come out pretty good deal. So in the beginning of the time frame sequence of the update number two, we'll start with a fuselage and we'll work our way to the end of the uh, update. And we'll uh, go from there. So anyway, folks, uh, before I get started here, I'd like to thank, uh, like have a good shout out to all, all, all my, all the good modelers out there. Uh, uh, build pencil man build his 110 boy that's, that's that excellent that that little strip of modeling effect will look works pretty good I'm going to show you what you can do with it with a paintbrush if you're if you're very good with a, a paintbrush you really can uh, you can really get some effects that that people that never realize what can be done with a paintbrush and uh, I had a kit one time I think it was, it was a folk wolf that had a strip of, uh, effect on it so you use a paintbrush I want to use a sponge like a, like a kitchen sponge would you buy at a store, you can wipe all stuff off table and off sinks and such. Take a piece of that sponge and make sure that paint's pretty good thin. Soak that sponge in that paint and dab on your fuselage, you get the same effect. Just a tip right there, but Jim put, I mean, Bill put a, he did a great job on that. So he's on a downhill slightly completing the build. Uh, Steve, Jake Cutter, he's doing a real good job in his hurricane. And, uh, we got the, uh, haven't heard anything from Clinton, that model yet, so I imagine next presentation he'll do is probably, is probably a downhill slide to have this build done. And we got, uh, Walt did an excellent job on his, uh, on his Bolton Paul Defiant in, in a night's game, all black. Good job. And, uh, that'll be down there, but anyway, you fellas, uh, thanks a lot. Keep in tune. It says we'll go ahead and, uh, Go back to work, Vince. She was shaking. Stay focused, boys. Okay, boys. Back at the workbench, as you can see, uh, the, uh, the wash is applied inside the right side of the fuselage, along with the cockpit tub itself. And I don't want to overdo it because I want to destroy all that gray right there. So it kind of brings out a lot of uh, details, as you can see. Such a small airplane and a small scale of 148. Uh, it's tiny, but it's the detail work is very effective. As you can see, the control down council uh, dials on there is uh, dial pacing hasn't been uh, destroyed at all from the wash, and more or less highlighted been the uh, instrument panel itself. And the Del Del Mirror Benz engine has been uh, completely washed, and I got to add some more wiring to add some wiring to it. That'll be on the next video, and. Uh, as this video proceeds, I'll do the assembly of the fuselage and also the uh, the tailplane assembly. I see the wash has been applied inside there. Not pretty, but effective. It brings out the details to it. This is very, a very enjoyable kit. Some of the excess wash got in this panel line. That's what I'm going to represent uh, on the finished build to give a good wash of grimy black on there. It'll fill in those panel lines and fill the bill in. And uh, I'm applying glue inside the fuselage right there on the tailplane. Make sure they're they're glued right. Make sure they're a center. I like to use uh, gloves on my builders. I don't want to get no fingerprints on there and stuff. This is my little makeshift portable table right here, so I get better results than what I could do, fellas, if I have the camera in front of me. I should, this is something I should have learned a long time ago. And uh, therefore, on this sequence of operation, it works well for me. As you can see, my Ambroid uh, Pro Weld I use. It's good stuff. I stay away from that cyanide stuff, boys. I, I ain't trying to condemn it, but it's not good for me. I've seen a lot of good model builders have their eyeballs and lungs destroyed because of this stuff. 
I apply a couple of liberal coats of that on there. It fills in. That stuff really, uh, it's really great stuff. That stuff is strong, fellas. I highly recommend it. I got about eight bottles of that in my stock. And uh, right now, I'm just going ahead and make sure that the uh, stabilizers are, are centered and straight. I back off and give a little thumb, a little thumb view there. Thumbs up, boys. Thumbs up. Thumb right. You can see my stash right there on my left front of me. I got about 15 feet of bottles like that. I got probably in that in my little domain right there, boys. I got over a thousand models in there in my stash. Here's my scribing tool that I use for the panel lines. I love the video picked up a while ago. I was sending down the fuselage after it joined with my pro, pro weld. Now I'm using my uh, file right now. That's my little mill bastard finishing file. I file down the seams real good without destroying uh, too much of the detail of the panels. The panels will be rescribed in with my scribing tool I got. You'll see how it's done in, uh, in the process of uh, the finishing up the fuselage. It's about ready for a primer coat pretty soon, but I want to get the wings on first before that's achieved. And uh, go up front a little bit and sand down the seams right there. That stuff really does the job. That glue right there, it creates a weak joint, boys. And with that file right there, it'll file that weak joint down even with the plastic seams. It'll, it'll actually diminish the seams. Now, one good feature about this kit is it's so precise as it goes together, no putty is acquired. So far as to assembly, I may have some due in the wings, but I don't know. It's less doubtful the way I look at it. Uh, the kit's a dream to put together. It's small, but actually the, the art of model building is, is miniaturization. Flip her on her back, boys, and get her belly side all filed down real good. And uh, I'm not bashful of that file. Let that file do its job. Get rid of that weep joint on there. And uh, that fits done. Give a good brusher and... Uh, Go back and uh, take my brush and brush it off. And uh, instead of blowing, I give it a good brush job. As you can see, I'm feeling imperfection just filled good. And uh, pretty satisfied with the fit and the finish is gone. Nose area right there, the, get, we really eliminate that seam. As you can see, that stuff is coming right off there by the weep joints. Go back and give a good brushing. Clean. Looks pretty santo to me, fellas. And uh, now it's time for the uh, rescribe the, the panel that was live that was lost. Let's see if I can find my tool. I love the kit. Back off a little bit. Yours truly with this tool. There you go. That's my scribing tool right there. I use it for panel lines only, fellas. I don't use nothing else on it. And uh, this curvature right there goes right around the fuse shot without, without fuss. And I'm going back right now and we'll rescribe the panels. I'm kind of enjoying this little tutorial build going on here, guys. It's something that sh I should have done years ago, but I'm not pretty new to YouTube right now. I'm new to all this. It's, uh, I'm like a kid with a new toy. And all the lines are, all those pan lines are rescribed back in from where they were sanded off the file. Nothing unusual about this. It's just a rule of thumb, you know. You want to you preserve as much detail as you can on, on this model and any model in, in view. Give it a little brushing here. It's off there. Yeah, there they are. The panels still stand up real good. I'm a happy camper. Looks good to me, fellas. Yep, it's all done there. Go to the belly, do this, repeat the process on the bottom side. It's a small model. The, one, the Measures Fit 109 in, in view is a very small airplane. Uh, when you get inside of one of these things, 
but even not the right side of that side of the cockpit's touching your shoulders. I don't know how those, I don't know how Adolf Gallon and the rest of the aces that flew those 109s got such a small airplane. It's almost as if it was, they're so small. I mean, they're like an ultralight job or something, something that you could build in your garage. And, uh, incredibly small airplane. Yeah, uh, looks good right there. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm getting the, scraping the bottom of it. Checking work as I go along. You gotta make sure it seats right on there. On those lines, you don't want to go off this, off this, off the uh, panel lines. In other words, you'll, 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 uh, you'll mark the finish when it ain't done. You have to repeat the whole process by filing it down and sanding it down and do it over again. So make sure you do every job right. Brush it off real good. Go back in the forward end, get this rescribe the panel lines that was lost during the filing process. And uh, go on at it, boys. I'm really enjoying this build. Most enjoyment is that you fellas are watching it and commenting me on it, and that's the rewards of it. And, uh, well, I'll tell you the truth, fellas, I think I found my. I found the formula of, uh, of updating Billy my models right here. This look, works pretty good for me. It's not the best, but it's going to get better. It goes down the road, fellas. I just got to learn how to start editing stuff like Alex does. And his editing on his videos are so are, uh, are very admirable how he does it. So the things I got to learn. And uh, as you can see, fellas, I'm pretty happy right now. It's done. Now I'm going to go back to the engine, get that detailed out, back it off with my camera, both thumbs up, I'm done, I'm ready to go on it, and uh, that'll be it. There you go, fellas, this is a little me doing a little tutorial action on there. It's my first, uh, my first attempt at doing this, so like everybody else does, so I might as well experiment and join in. Okay, that concludes uh, part two of Little Jimmy Pirashakis Group Build 20th Century German Aces. Uh, so far, as you've seen on the uh, on the video, is is uh, how I joined the, the fuselage together. Used my favorite type of liquid cement, which is very incredibly strong cement. I stay away from those fast blues like ACC. I don't want to come down with a good case of cyanide poisoning, you know. That's so many of my friends of mine. Now, any of you guys who like model ships or are, are into it, like uh, you'll notice that Steve Steve Prisky, uh, he inspired me a lot in videos, how he, how he uh, performed his video work. And uh, he's no longer doing model ship building anymore it's because he burned out his eyes using those fast glues. He had cyanide poisoning in his eyes. And he has respiratory problems as well. And uh, that's why I stay away from that stuff. That's okay once in a while, guys. But if you use it religiously all the time, man. It's like it's like fast foods. It's a slow death. Uh, that concludes that. So anyway, uh, our next presentation, part three, would be the, uh, the assembly of the wings and airbrushing and everything else. So I want to do a good job for little Jenny. And I'm going to do a good job for you. And uh, right now I've got my my portable setup here. It's a lot better to have the camera directly in front of me so you can see what I'm doing and have it at the side like it has been. And uh, so far this works pretty good for me, so it gives you guys a good idea of how I'm doing it. So anyway, uh, this concludes part two of Jimmy's group build. And uh, we'll catch you in part three. And thank you for tuning in, fellas. And your, thank you for your wonderful warm comments. And I'm very honored to be here with you fellas. And uh, you one big happy, happy, happy family. That's why I look at it. And happy modeling. May God bless. May God speed. Pay on your face. Pay on your hands. Be good to your mom. And uh, you square with the house and everything is fine. That's like old lady we say. And uh, it's, great, it's great word of advice too and encouragement. So anyway fellas, so, uh, we'll catch you on the next video. So... Thanks, boys. Have a good day, and may God bless. Bye now.